Welcome to Sunrise Meditations on the beautiful and serene Ender's Island. Today we celebrate Palm Sunday of the Lord's Passion, and I'm your host, Deacon Francis Valier. Alexio Divina is from the Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 21, verses 1 through 11. Let us begin our prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty, ever-living God, who, as an example of humility for the human race to follow, caused our Savior to take flesh and submit to the cross, graciously grant that we may heed his lesson of patient suffering, and so merit a share in his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. And now let us listen and attend to our gospel passage. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. All glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus and the disciples drew near Jerusalem and came to Bethpage on the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go into the village opposite you, and immediately you will find an ass tethered and a colt with her. Untie them and bring them here to me. And if anyone should say anything to you, reply, the master has need of them. Then he will send them at once. This happened so that what had been spoken through the prophet might be fulfilled. Say to daughter Zion, behold, your king comes to you, meek and riding on an ass and on a colt, the fowl of a beast of burden. The disciples went and did as Jesus had ordered them. They brought the ass and the colt and laid their cloaks over them, and he sat upon them. The very large crowd spreading their cloaks on the road while others cut branches from the trees and strewed them on the road. The crowds preceding him and those following kept crying out and saying, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And when he entered Jerusalem, the whole city was shaken and asked, Who is this? And the crowd replied, This is Jesus the prophet from Nazareth in Galilee. The Gospel of the Lord. All praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In today's Gospel reading according to St. Matthew, we find ourselves on the threshold of what we now call Holy Week. For this meditation, I chose for brevity's sake to read and meditate on the shorter gospel passage that is read at the entrance of our churches. Jesus enters uh, in a triumphal manner into the city of Jerusalem so that he may celebrate the Passover, uh, what we now call the Last Supper, with his disciples in the upper room. But today's reading only shows Jesus entering the city. The trivial events in this short passage were vital as to fulfill prophecy about the Messiah. The crowds hailed Jesus into the city. And in all the excitement we read, the whole city was shaken and asked, Who is this? And the crowd replied, this is Jesus the prophet from Nazareth in Galilee. But the question for all of us is, who is this? Who is this who so many times healed the sick, drove out demons, and raised the dead? Who is this who walked on water to save his friends? Who is this who showed unconditional love and mercy to prostitutes, tax collectors, and the like, sinners, one and all. 
Who is this who approached lepers to lovingly cure them? Who is this who multiplied fishes and loaves to feed 5,000? Who is this who will consecrate at the Passover the bread and wine into his own body, blood, soul, and divinity? Who is this who asks God the Father, Father, forgive them, they know not what they do? Who is this whose mangled body dies on a cross and is laid in a tomb? This, my brothers and sisters, is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, by whom no other name are we saved, the only begotten Son of God the Father, the second person of the Blessed Trinity, who has defeated sin and death, that we may have eternal life. May Jesus be praised forever and ever. Amen. Happy Palm Sunday. After our closing prayer, we read the scripture passage and contemplate its message again. Concentrate on a thought that comes to you either through a verse or even just a small word that touches you and ask the Holy Spirit to show you how it pertains to you and how you may spiritually grow closer to Him. Let us complete a divine reading now with a closing prayer and let us pray. Having contemplated your divine word and embraced your sacred truths you teach us, complete within us, O Lord, we pray the healing work of your mercy and graciously perfect and sustain us so that in all things we may please you through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord Jesus be upon you always and in all ways. And may his generous blessings fill your day with joy in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You know, if you enjoy listening to these daily meditations and if you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button and help support this channel. And also pass along the links to your friends and relatives as well. God bless you all and have a great day.